Hebrews 5.14, but solid food is for the mature, for those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. I'm the host of Difficult People Chronicles. You are now tuned in to my podcast, Difficult People Chronicles. Today's episode is called The Message, Spiritual Judgment. Recently, I hung out with a childhood friend of mine, and I say childhood, childhood, like way back. And she's like my sister, you know. We had a great time. Great time. Talking about a lot of things and, you know, going back and forth when it comes to spirituality. I learned some things from her, and hopefully she learned some things from me. You know, iron sharpens iron. So... One of the, I'm not going to go into the conversation, but I'm going to say she said that she doesn't judge people. And I said to her, when you spiritual, I feel like you have to, you have to, if, if there's anybody out there that wants to get into a healthy debate with me, I'm open for it. Email me at sfj.peace at gmail.com. So... That was the end of that. You know, I just basically said to her, you have to be a spiritual because you have to know who's in front of you and all these other things, right? Then this morning, I was prepared to air a different episode, but then I was, um, what came to me was judgment. And I just got dressed and had out the door on my way to church. It kept coming up judgment. And then the situation came up that between her and I, the conversation, actually, not the situation, conversation. And then when I got to church, what came to me was in the middle of the pastor talking, visiting pastor, actually, he was talking about missionary work overseas. And what came to me was ego based judgment and spiritual judgment. So I said to myself, I feel like this needs to get out where I need to put this episode out. So this message is for somebody where you have to work on your spirituality, discernment, perception, intuition, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Somebody is in a situation and you need to judge the situation well better than how you have in the past with other situations go to God and ask God to give you the power and the ability to judge well the reason why I say that is because a lot of times we get in situations where we mess up because we don't utilize the tools that God give us. Discernment, perception, intuition, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, common sense. I'm going to add common sense to it. Common sense. <laughs> yeah. Discernment, though, is the spiritual capacity, a gift, to distinguish between good and evil was facts, was false, <laughs> reality versus fantasy, and being able to identify God's direction. And for who this is for, somebody out there needs to work on it. Yeah, somebody needs to work on it. Um, so what came to me in church is that, well, from the time I was in church up until like maybe a few minutes ago, is that um, sometimes God puts us in situations where we may look at it as a downfall. Like, you have people that are ego judgmental. And because they're so egotistical, they're doing all sorts of ungodly things. And they try to drag someone else in the mix as the fall guy. So, they won't get in trouble. But when you have God in your life... God will give you the right avenue to take 
to maneuver out of this out of the situation out of the way where you won't even be touched because because that's a lot of times what the enemy tries to do is try to uh, destroy God's people character everything yeah that's what the devil do so one of the things that I want to say to you all is this when a person is egotistical and they judge what it looks like is they could be a part of a group and they'll look at a person and say oh I don't want that person to be a part of this group that person's a groupie a hoe a dog or this a dad or sleeps around and all this other stuff and because they have a lot of people in front of them they want to convince the masses which is the people in front of them that that person is no good so they they'll put tags and lies on that person's name god is going to deal with that person too the egotistical one but yeah anyway they add lies to it right but a person that is spiritually and they work on their discernment perception intuition wisdom knowledge understanding common sense all of that is going to start to see through that person that this person has been doing that all along, that this person is not right and this person has issues. Now, let me talk about spiritual judgment. I remember a, a guy who was doing this lecture series and I was like, wow, I dig what this, this cat is saying, you know. And then he slipped and said something that I that I didn't like. But then I said at first, like, maybe it's me. Maybe I need to open my mind to what this person is saying and really listen what the person is saying. But in the back of my head, I was like, I don't like what he said. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it at all. <laughs> you know, got home, closed the door, went to bed, woke up, still left a bad taste in my mouth. Mm-hmm. That gut feeling said, intuition said something ain't right. So over the course of, I would say a few more months, slipped up. He said something else and he just kept slipping. I said, and then I pointed and said, that's not his true character. And then when I got home, I sat by myself in silence and I said to my, in my head, I said, you know, Johnny, you always been pretty good at discerning certain things so I took it a step further and I went to God in prayer and when God unfolded about that person I was like oh I was right I was right on the money you know but it's been like that since I was a little kid with certain situations and and I want y'all to understand certain situations I said when I was younger so there was certain situations that I got into because I wanted to <laughs> but then there were certain situations where I can tell something was wasn't right and I stepped away and some of those things that I stepped away from could have been deadly you know it could have went left real quick and I say this to you all because like I said to my friend, I said, when you spiritual, you got to, you got to really, you got to put up your antennas and, and, and I'm not saying you go in and say, oh, that person, this and that person. No, a person standing in front of you, you got to, if you, if you can't distinguish what is really going on, go to God in prayer. But for who this is for, you need to strengthen the tools that God gave you, strengthen them. And then one way that they become weak is when we sit there and do what we want to do and not do what God wants us to do, you know, on our own accord. But you have to strengthen your tools. Go to God in prayer. Ask God to, to strengthen, you know, the power of discernment. Mm -hmm. Be, and this is another thing um, that just came to me. So... It could also be a situation where somebody is already in something. And in something means a, a bad situation, predicament. Maybe they messed up and it's bad. Regardless of what, learn from your mistake, number one. Even if that means taking out a notebook and writing down 
uh, some key things that you learned because that's one of the things I do when I when I mess up I own up to whatever I messed up on and I take out a book and write down notes on um, meaning that what I've learned from the situation so it doesn't happen again uh, for somebody else another thing that um, what just came to me is that somebody could be in a situation where like I said they're already in a bad situation but understand that sometimes a lot of times God puts us in situations that are not going to be pleasing because we are going to be used for his glory so it could look like anything it can be where you are kicked in the gut in the face rolled over in dirt and God will put you through that situation and then when you stand he would dust you off and you look like gold and it's because the person that was a part of the whole tearing you down is going to be under judgment meaning that let's say you have somebody that uh, is trying to destroy your character at the job and do all these things and this person and you asking God how long and going to God and praying God is not giving you the green light to to make moves God is not telling you um, (laughs) peel out of there like a ball of smoke and you have to stand there and endure the craziness like People just destroying your character. You being rolled over in the dirt, kicked and in the gut and everything. And then you stand still in the storm. What happens is that God will dust you off that you gold. And that person that did all that stuff to you is going to go through judgment. Because, <laughs> you know, God gives people warning signs. Mm-hmm. Warning signs. But in a situation like that. I know somebody is probably saying, how does, you know, the the gifts work in situations like that? God will tell you sometimes to move a little differently so the impact won't be so great. Like you'll still go through it, but God will tell you which way to move, which way to go, which way to maneuver, how to jump over the hurdle. So the impact won't be so great. Yeah, you still get beat down, rolled over, look like dirt and everything else but the impact won't be so great all I know is that what came to me is somebody need to work on their 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 godly tools discernment perception intuition yeah common sense I add I add common sense to that because some people don't have that common sense you be looking at them like what what <laughs> yeah and and for who this is for this person is spiritual mm-hmm. and they need to work on their gifts because It becomes a situation where it is you become spiritually strong or you're going to be spiritually weak. And when you're spiritually weak, you open the doors to a whole heap of other attacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when a person is spiritually, spiritually strong, you'll be able to judge those that are egotistical. And they, what just came, egotistical. Yes, egotistical. So... Whoever this is for, somebody in front of them is um, ego. They're ego judging another person. And I feel like they're doing it to the masses of the people that's in front of them, like a group. Like they're going there saying, oh, that person's stupid, ugly, or poor, or ghetto, or whatever, whatever, whatever tags they're putting on this person. And there might be people in the group that are spiritual and they're their whole godly tools is going to pick up on this person what this person is doing so the torment that the other person is going through is gonna come to an end (laughs) because the people that are listening to that ego person that's judging is going to turn around and say something is wrong with that person that's egotistical because it's been going on for far too long That's what I feel like. I feel like whatever's going on is going on far too long. But people are going to see through that person. And that person that that, that I feel that's ego judging the other person is going to 
try to create lies to get the people to stay interested in the the tags that they placed on the other person. I hope that helps. Anyway, for the like I said, for the spiritual um person, work on your perception, intuition, and wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and common sense. Go to God in prayer and ask God to work on those tools to instill them in you and um what else um yeah and be mindful of the people coming in front of you because if there's a person who is egotistical and judging all these people what happens is they'll send someone who is just like them to stand in front of you and try to get close to you and you're gonna have to put on use your tools not even put on use your tools to to discern who's that person in front of you so you can move to the right and tell that person to go somewhere else yeah that's it for today for more sign up for a session go to my website and email me email me suggested topics put in the subject box topic and check me out on YouTube like subscribe click the notification check out my store check out my document uh, your money matters it's on my website all the links is underneath love me more and I love you more later